What's going on? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. Let's talk about Rick Ross. He's got a new record entitled Richer Than I Ever Been. That was released on December 10th. This is his 11th studio album. Follows 2019's Port of Miami 2. And thank God for Rick Ross. Definitely one of the most consistent rappers in the last 15 years since his 06 debut, Port of Miami. 10 records to follow after that. So quite a prolific output as well in his career. And he's just, again, so consistent. The quality of music is there. It's grounded in this great balance of East and West Coast style. Hip-hop's blown up in the last 30 years, as we all know as well. Different genres developing within pockets of the country. So Rick, definitely not shy to work with all that different stuff that's come out in the last 10, 20, 30 years, incorporating it into his style seamlessly. But what I really dig about him is that he keeps it basic as far as laying down a beat, using great instrumentation to make each track unique, and then just giving it great production to allow his velvety flow and his lyrical structure to really be at the forefront of all of these songs. And I love the way that shines through. There's something about him. I mean, half the time he's not even rhyming, but it reminds me of the way Shakespeare uses iambic pentameter and soliloquies. It mimics the flow of normal speech, but you still, you still get this fine rhythm in the speech as well. And that's really what Rick is reminding me of when he's on the mic. And I just dig him so much for that reason. The music, like I said, on this record, exceptional. And there's so much fun nuance as fun as, you know, when beats come in, uh, when instrumentation is working in and out of a song. And it's just really well done. Tons of great examples as you listen to this thing. My other favorite thing about this record, and I don't know if he did this deliberately, um, and, you know, Rick has also put out some fairly lengthy albums, but in 2021, a year where there were so many over-bloated, self-indulgent, 90-minute high-profile hip-hop releases, Rick just comes in hot with this 42-minute banger, 12 amazing tracks. There's so many cool guest features on this thing. Let's just get right into it. It opens up with Little Havana. I'm getting such a kick out of this track because it, it opens up with a, a message from Willie Falcone. The Willie Falcone. If you have Netflix and if you've seen Cocaine Cowboys, Rick, he's been based out of Miami for a number of years now. It is that Willie Falcone opening up this record, and I just, I think it's so funny that, you know, having watched that two months ago, that he shows up opening up this record. Keeping it real, though, and I love this track. I love, uh, again, a fine example of that nuance as far as the way the beat works in and out of this music. Uh, you know, there's a, a big acapella element on this track, and I really like the way this song opens up the record. I think it gives it a great pace and a great flow. Right into the Pulitzer. That's just Rick doing his thing for two minutes. Great piano in the melody here. Really like that track a lot. Your third track, Rapper Estates, featuring Benny the Butcher. Really digging Benny these days. And this song, it's got this feel of classic pop, kind of meets Yacht Rock. You listen to it, and I really thought of Seals and Croft's Summer Breeze. It was the first thing that immediately came to mind. There's a little lyrical burn on Skip Bayless in that song, so I also like that as well. Marathon is your fourth track. Light But Haunting Melody, it's got a, a bit of a trap influence as well, and Rick is just rocking that track on his own as well, but that is also a cool song. Your fifth song, Warm Words in a Cold World, really like this track a lot. It's got Wale and Future on it. Love the sparse instrumentation that's working in and out of this track. It's really well done. Your sixth track, Wiggle, featuring Dream Doll, is a banger. This thing is uh, probably going to be played at the strip club for years to come. It's probably going to be played at your house parties and in the club and everywhere for years to come. I love this song. It is awesome. Can't Be Broke is your seventh song. Really nice string arrangement in this track. Great way to, you know, kind of move out of, uh, out of that sixth song. And this is going to start the, the back end of the, uh, of the album as well. That track is going to work into Made It Out Alive, which is uh, one of my favorites. I love this song featuring Blast. It's got this great bass element to it. The piano instrumentation is also excellent. Your ninth track, Outlaws, featuring my girl Jasmine Sullivan. I love her. 21 Savage is also on that track. This is also another one of my favorite songs. Leads into Imperial High, which also has an excellent bass element. Again, the, the music on this record really is fun to listen to. And with the runtime, it's just such a quality record. It's so well put together that I think as you continue to listen to it, there's all these other different components that are going to shine. And it's just so much fun. Richer Than i Ever Been, your title track, your penultimate track. This thing is fire. It's Rick on his own. Great hook on this thing. I'm loving his flow. It's uh, it's quite the track. And it leads into Hella Smoke, Wiz Khalifa, helping him close this thing out. The, that last track, it's got this nice R&B feel. Super smooth, super chill. Like this whole record. This is a vinyl please, without a doubt. One of the better hip-hop records that I've heard this year. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's refreshing. I'm glad it came at the end of the year. Cap off. 
some of this nonsense that we've had to deal with over the last few months. So I hope you enjoyed this record. Hope you find this review helpful. Please like, share this video, subscribe to the channel, do all the things to help me blow this project up, and stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. We'll see you next time on the Beat Sessions.